a lot of energy, for one thing. Uh, you get to go and listen to the people who you read about in books uh, speak. You get to ask them questions directly. You sometimes get to go out and have coffee with them. The networking is terrific. There's a lot of public spaces. There's a lot of milling about. And it's, you, you can run into the people that you admire and actually get to work with them. Um, I've, I've uh, become acquainted with a lot of people I admired from afar. And now they're my colleagues. So it's always a terrific opportunity. Well, I think the mentorship programs that I've been participating in, so I did a session this morning and there was a session all day on Wednesday. Fantastic. Best thing about JC. Um, I think it's, you know, bringing all these experts together on geriatrics research. Um, it's it's kind of unique to see, you know, this conference is definitely more focused on the research side as opposed to the clinical side. And um, as a researcher, um, it's very refreshing to see all different kinds of methods, different focuses on you know, different relevant topics in geriatrics, um, and identifying potential collaborators too. So, first part about GSA, you get to know like um, the latest research, and then meet like-minded people. Like meeting new and old friends at a GSA is cool. Well, the best part of GSA for me is the opportunity to network and to meet with persons who are. Uh, like-minded doing similar research projects and opportunity for potential collaboration. The best part of this GSM meeting is the NIA is organizing a lot of workshops for early career researcher and it's really helpful for like an early career researcher like me. It's my 40th uh, GSA meeting and I think the networking with colleagues and learning new things. <laughs>